dear students of class 8 hope you are enjoying the lockdown staying safe within the walls of your house good morning all of you so let me begin here the first chapter the world in a wall this chapter speaks about the pets how we need to be careful how we must love whatsoever, whatsoever may be it's good to have pets but keep them in a healthy distance do not take them um, to your personal rooms personal living places beds especially uh, to be careful uh, i remember once when uh, at home we had honey bees yeah it gives honey that's very sweet it's very good but uh, you cannot go and love them as you love any other pets right uh, when you go, it will give. It's, it will show its own nature. I I hope you all have such kind of experiences at one or the other time in your life. This chapter explains uh, about the world in a wall. is a story about a boy who spots a scorpion on a wall near his home, and since he was tempted to take it but knew that his mother would not allow it just like us any one of us he placed the scorpion and the babies in the matchbox so in the home he carefully placed the matchbox on the table and sat down for lunch larry having finished already picked up the matchbox and opened it not knowing anything about it this led to a chaos in the dining table as the female scorpion tried to escape with her babies and since Lagrosia, that she was the only guest over there, was the only stranger in the house, Roger, their dog, thought that she was responsible and bit her on the ankle. Uh, Roger is the dog, but thinking that uh, the only person out from outside was the that stranger, the guest, uh, Lagrosia, bit her ankle. After a lot of panic in the family, the order was made to round up the scorpions and leave them out of the house on the wall. The family retired to the drawing room and the author and Roger spent the afternoon on the hillside. This is the summary of the lesson. This was written by uh, Gerald Durrell and he was born in Jamshadpur in India on 7th uh, January 19, 2025. Durrell reportedly recalled his first visit to a zoo in India and attributed his lifelong love of animals to that encounter. He has written many other books also. So shall I just start this lesson? As I teach you this lesson, as I try to explain to you, I want you to open the English textbook and sit. Please don't do multitask at the same time. As you uh, listen to this video, uh, please do not engage yourself with other activities. So I start. One day, I found a fat female scorpion in the wall wearing what at first glance appeared to be a pale fawn fur coat. Closer inspection proved that this strange garment was made up of a mass of tiny babies clinging to the mother's back. I was enraptured by this family and I made up my mind to smuggle them into the house and up to my bedroom so that I might keep them and watch them grow up. Uh, let me explain to you. Once I found a fat female scorpion, so the other has Take a notice of a fat female scorpion in the wall wearing, it's hanging to what at first glance, at first glance means at first look, appeared to be a pale, pale means shadow. Oh, it's not exactly the bright little um, shade color. Fawn fur coat. So what is fawn? Fawn is young deer in its first year. Fur is a short, fine and soft hair of the certain animals. So it was looking like, at first glance, the scorpion looked like a 
um the coat of the cover of uh, animals uh, hair or something like so closer inspection closer view proof that this strange garment was made up of a mass of tiny babies clinging to the mother's back so as he went and had a closer view of this um thing what was where um, what was on the wall he understood that it was nothing else but uh, um, the mother scorpion and the baby scorpions hanging clinging on so the smaller ones are clinging on clinging to mother's back i was enraptured by this family enraptured means the word meaning of enraptured means give intense pleasure or joy to so i was enraptured by this family and i made up my mind to smuggle them into the house and up to my bedroom so that i might keep them and watch them grow up as a little boy so this female scorpion with its babies uh, clinging to its mother's back and on the walls uh, he was overjoyed so he felt like smuggle means uh, to take them secretly convey someone or something secretly somewhere uh, without anybody's notice so to take them into the house and up to mother bedroom so that uh, he would be able to keep them in the house or in the room and watch them grow up so in the first stanza it is uh, a mother scorpion and the tiny babies clinging to its back uh, on the walls so uh, he felt like as he saw it he felt like taking it uh, he felt very happy to see them and take them to his uh, room and make them grow there let them um, watch, uh, grow up there with second stanza with infinite care i maneuvered the mother and family into a match box so um, and then hurry to the villa it was rather unfortunate that just as i entered the door lunch should be served however i placed the matchbox carefully on the mantelpiece in the drawing room so that the scorpion should get plenty of air and made my way to the dining room and joined the family for the meal don't cling over my foot feeding roger surreptitiously under the table and listening to the family arguing i completely forgot about my exciting new captures at last larry having finished picked up the matchbox he had brought he had brought oblivious of my impending room doom i watched him interestedly as still talking glibly he opened the matchbox now with infinite care with utmost care i maneuvered the mother maneuvered the word meaning of maneuver means move skillfully or carefully maneuver the mother means with much care and attention uh, the boy um, struggled to get the mother scorpion and the family the tiny boy babies into the match box and then hurried to the villa villa means to his home it was rather unfortunate that just as i entered the door lunch should be served so immediately as he got in inside the house it was at lunch time and the lunch was served however i placed the matchbox carefully on the mantelpiece in the drawing room what is the word meaning of mantelpiece it's a structure of wood a marble or a stone above or around a fireplace so i placed the matchbox carefully on that piece of wood or in the drawing room so that the scorpion should get plenty of air and made my way to the dining room so he had kept the scorpions in the drawing room on the mantelpiece uh, which was inside the already captured and kept inside the matchbox and joined the family for the meal don't cling over my food don't cling means wasting time or be slow be slow with the food feeding roger surreptitiously uh, roger is his pet dog Uh, feeding roger surreptitiously surreptitiously means in a way that attempts to avoid notice or attention or secretively so as he was taking the food he was at the same time giving feeding roger under the table and listening to the family arguing i completely forgot about my exciting new captures 
So he forgot about completely about the matchbox and the scorpions. At last, Larry, Larry suppose maybe uh, his brother, having finished, picked up the matchbox he had brought. So he must have noticed the boy taking the um, this uh, matchbox and coming and leaving it over there. So he picked up the matchbox. Oblivious of my impending doom, I watched him interestedly, as still uh, talking lively, he opened the batch box. So, the word meaning of oblivious means not aware of or concerned about what is happening around one. So, he is not aware about what is inside in the match box. He was not aware about. Impending doom. Impending means be about to happen. A doom is you know, the fate. I watch him interestedly as still talking lively. What is the word meaning of lively, deadly, fluent? or often thoughtlessly or superficially he opened the matchbox so talking uh, listening to all the conversations just open the matchbox now i make the next paragraph the next page page number 10 now i maintain to this day that the female scorpion meant no harm she was agitated and i to feel annoyed at to feel annoyed at being shut up in a matchbox for so long. So she seized first opportunity to escape. She hoisted herself out of the box with great rapidity. Her burbies clinging on desperately and scuttled onto the back of Larry's hand. There, not quite certain what to do next, she paused. Her sting curved up and ready. Larry, feeling the movement of her clothes, glanced down to see what it was. And from that moment, things got increasingly confused. Now, I maintain to this day that the female scorpion meant no harm. So, the scorpion was not doing any harm to the uh, to Larry. But she was agitated. Agitated means irritated, uh, disturbed. Hmm. And a trifle annoyed. Um, and a trifle means an article or a thing of very little value. Annoyed at being shut up in the matchbox for so long. It's quite natural. If anyone of us is there in that situation, we also get irritated. Just imagine uh, when you ask uh, the permission to go out to the class uh, to washroom or to take, uh, drink a little water. If we don't give the permission, how irritated or how disturbed you would become. Same way. So she seized the first opportunity to escape. So he was waiting for a, she was waiting for a chance to escape. She hoisted herself out of the box with great rapidity. She hoisted to raise or lift, especially by some mechanical appliance. Hoisted herself, rapidity means soon. She hoisted herself out of the box, box with the great rapidity. Her baby is clinging on desperately. Desperately means uh, with a struggling and scuttled onto the back of Larry's hand. Scuttled to run with quick run or hurry. Larry's hand. So, as soon as Larry opened the matchbox, the mother scorpion and the baby scorpions were trying to escape and coming out, come out of the matchbox. They are no, they are not quite certain what to do next. So she posed. So she was not aware about what is there, the content of the uh, matchbox. Not aware about what she posed for a moment. Her sting curved and ready. Larry feeling the movement of her clothes. So it's uh, legs and it's uh, um, all those two, everything. When it touched the Larry's hand, when she felt the movement of these clothes, in the, she felt like a glance down to see what it is. Then she understood what something is there. And from that moment, things got increasingly confused. So, not knowing what it is, so accidentally when she opened it, it all happened and the confusion started. He uttered a roar of fright that made the Ladrasia drop a plate and brought the walker out from beneath the table, barking wildly. With a flick of his hand, he sent the unfortunate scorpion flying down the table and she landed midway between Margot and Leslie. Scattering babies like confetti as she thumped on the cloth, thoroughly enraged at this treatment, the creature sped towards Lesil, 
her sting quivering with emotion, Leslie leapt to his feet, overturning his chair and flicked out desperately with his napkin, sending the scorpion rolling across the cloth towards Margot, who promptly let out a scream that any railway engine would have been proud to produce. Mother, completely bewildered by this sudden and rapid change from peace to chaos, put on her glass and peered um, down the table to see what was causing the pandemonium. At the same time, same moment, Margot, in vain attempt to stop the scorpion's advance, hurled a glass of water at it. The shower missed the animal completely but successfully drenched mother, who, not being able to sta stand cold water, promptly lost her breath and sat gasping at the end of the table, unable even to protest. The scorpion had now gone to ground, the, um, gone to ground under the lissel's plate, while her baby swarmed wildly all over the table. Roger, mystified by the panic, but determined to do his share, ran round and round the room, barking hysterically. hysterically. He uttered a roar of fright that made Ladrasia so. Who, who made this roar of fright? Of course, Larry. Larry made a big, made a big noise and fright out of fear. Uh, made a ladrasha drop a plate and brought Roger out from the table beneath the table barking wildly. So this gust, Ladrasha, um, he um, the plate had gone from her hand down and brought Roger, Roger is the dog, out from beneath the table. He got up from the table, uh, from beneath the table and barking wildly. So he also started. With a flick of his hand, he sent the unfortunate scorpion flying down the table and she landed midway between Margot and Lissil, scattering babies like confetti as she thumbed on the cloth. So as she, um, as Larry just dropped the matchbox, these scorpions flying, they came between, landed midway between Margot and Lissil, uh, mother and the brother. Uh, scattering babies like confetti. Confetti. The word meaning of confetti is um, small bits of paper or un unusually colored or thrown or dropped from a high to enhance a guide to your first day we went. As she thumped on the cloth, thoroughly enraged at this uh, treatment, the creature sped towards Lissil, her sting quivering with emotion. Lessil leapt to his feet, overturning his chair, flicked out desperately with his napkin, sending the scorpion rolling across the cloth towards Marco, who promptly let out a scream that any railway engine would have been proud to produce. So, as it was like going from here to there, the, they all started howling and shouting. Mother completely bewildered. Bewildered. The word meaning of bewildered means uh, um, fear. Bewildered by this sudden and rapid change from peace to chaos. Uh, everything was in peace, but now everything has gone into chaos. Put on her glasses and uh, peered down the table to see what was causing the pandemonium. And at the same moment, pandemonium. The word pandemonium is uh, uh, wild uproar, tumult or chaos. In vain attempt to stop the scorpion's advance, hurled a glass of water at it. So, just it should not move. So, what they did is poured the cold water on it. The shower missed the animal completely, but successfully drenched mother, who not being able to um, not being able to stand cold water, promptly lost her breath and sat gasping at the end of the table. Gasping means a sudden short intake of the breath and not able to. Uh, drenched, the word meaning of drenched is to wet thoroughly or soak. The scorpion had now gone to ground under Lessel's plate. Now the scorpion has gone under the beneath the uh, Lessel's plate while her baby is swarmed. Swamped. The word meaning of swamped. Hope you know.
a body of bees settle together as in a hive um, all over the table rocker mystified by the panic but determined to do his share ran round and round the room barking hysterically hysterically so rocker the dog also started um, barking loudly and running up and down it's that silly boy again billowed larry that is said here yeah, this is the work of that boy only billowed means uh, how bowl or to roar look out look out they are coming screamed margo so margo is telling no 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 ye the opens are coming all we need is a book roared lesel so lesel is telling all that we require now is a book don't panic hit them with a book just uh, hit them with a book and everything will be okay now let me go to page number 11 to um, 11 what on mothers Uh, on the earth's matter with you all mother kept imploring mopping her glasses it's that boy he's he will kill lot of us look at the table the need deep in scorpions quick do something look out look out stop screeching and get a book for god's sake you are worse than a dog shut up brother by the grace of god i was in bitten look out there's another one quick quick oh shut up get me a book or something but how did the scorpions get on the table dear mother is asking that silly boy every match box in the house is a death trap so larry is telling look out it's coming towards me quick quick do something hit it with your knife go on hit it since no one had bothered to explain things to him roger was under the mistaken impression that the family was being attacked and it was his, his duty to defend them as lajresha was the only stranger in the room he came to the logical conclusion that she must be responsible party so he bit her in the anger this did not help matters very much by the time a certain amount of order had been restored and all the baby scorpions had hidden themselves under various plates and um, bits of cutlery eventually after impassioned pleas on my part backed up my mother backed up by my mother lesel suggestion that the whole lot to be slaughtered was quashed while the family still simmering with rage and fright retreated to the drawing room i spent a half an hour rounding up the babies picking up in a teaspoon and returning them to the mother's bag then i carried them outside on a saucer with utmost reluctance released them on the garden wall roger and i went and spent the afternoon on the hillside for i felt it would be prudent to allow the family to have a siesta before seeing them again so all we need is a book now all those scorpions were here and there so what uh, the lesson the sister was is telling uh, do one thing don't be panic hit them with a book what on earth's matter what with you all mother kept imploring and moping in her glasses mother was going on asking to beg a uh, implorement to beg urgently or piteously moping her glasses what is the matter it's that boy he will kill lot of us look at the table knee deep in scorpions full of scorpions inside the room to do something look out stop screeching and get a book screeching means to utter or make a harsh shrill cry or loud you are worse than the dog shut up roger uh, so lesel uh, is telling shut up shut up by the grace of god i was not bitten so larry is telling by the grace of god i was not bitten look out there is another one quick see there is another one moving around and shut up gets me a book or something lesel is telling but now uh, but uh, how did the scorpions get on the table so mother is asking how from where did the scorpions come inside so larry is telling that silly boy this is every match box in the house is a death trap death trap means a structure or a place or a situation where there is a imminent risk of death look out it's coming towards me quick quick do something hit it with your knife go on hit it so in with knife or book or whatever you have hit it since no one had bothered to explain things to him roger was under the mistaken impression that family was being attacked 
So the dog thought uh, it is his duty to uh, safeguard the family members. So nobody explained to him what has happened. So he was barking loudly. And uh, then what he did is, as Lajrisha was the only stranger in the room, he came to the logical conclusion that she must be a responsible party. So beat her in the angle. This did not help matters very much. So what the dog can do? He thought that the only stranger is Lajrisha. So hit her at the back. In the angle. By the time a certain amount of order had been restored and all the baby scorpions had hidden themselves under various plates and bits of cutlery. Cutlery are the articles of the kitchen, you know, small plates or vessels, or so ever maybe. Eventually, after impassioned pleas on my part, backed up my mother, backed up by my mother, Lessel's suggestion that the whole load to be slaughtered was fashed. Lessel was telling everything should be killed. But then it uh, somehow by the mother uh, mother supported, so it was not killed. While the family is still simmering with simmering means sim. Uh, when you put on the gas, you put sim, uh, low flame, with rage and fright, angry and then fear, both together came up in their mouth. Retired to the drawing room and everything was little cool. Everything they retired to the or went back to the drawing room. I spent half an hour rounding up the babies. So, all with half an hour time, uh, he tried uh, the other, tied his level burst to collect all the small scorpions, babies, babies, picking them up in his teaspoon. How did he pick them up? In the teaspoon and returning them to the mother's back. So, he uh, um, collected each tiny babies and uh, put them back on the mother's back. And then I carried them outside on a saucer. No, then he, collect, he collected all his mother scorpion and the tiny babies together and uh, with the help of a teaspoon and put them on the saucer and with that much reluctance, was not willing but still released them on the garden wall. Roger and I went and spent the afternoon on the hillside. So he took the dog along with him and went to the hillside. For I felt it would be prudent to allow the family to have a siesta before seeing them again. So he thought after the sleep, everything will be all right. So then they both, Rogera and the boy, went to the hillside while the family took siesta for some time.